Hello everyone, Banahand here. Today we are going to take the look on Dagger Bear. It's the most commented weapon on the internet, so I will bring it today. Why to use Spectre Hood and not any other hood like Cleric or something like that? Well, because you don't have to freeze and wait for them to use their abilities. You have to reset your cooldown when they do freeze. Do you understand that? If they have something to reflect your damage or to block your damage like Immune, Reflect, Ice Block, Wine ball, anything like that, you will just reset your cooldowns and go all the way again. The combo is simple. You press Q, wait for your charges in your invisibility. Here you will get another 40% damage if you will wait enough, enough time. And then you will press F. You are still invisible, they cannot do anything against this. And when you dash on them, you will get another 35% damage. And if they will try to block it, reflect it, or knocked you away, you will just press D and try again. They will don't have the cooldowns. You will go against us. Q, R, F and then E. If they will survive, you will have Poison Potion and W. W will be another 700 damage. And of course, Tetford Cape. Mm, just for faster clearing dunks, if you will be do doing corrupted dunks and for another small damage on your basic attack. It's the best cape you can use for it. If you don't want to spend uh, money and you are afraid to lose the gear, then just buy casual cape. Just this one. Expert's cape. Yeah? Don't, you don't have to buy this, it's not necessary for the combo, it's just small bonus for your combination. The Corrupted Dunk combo is just like this. If you are doing Arena or anything else, uh, you can use this combo too. It's working everywhere, but you will have to be careful. I will show you the clips for Arena and I will comment it, of course. So you can see how, am I, how I am playing the Arena and learn from it. I will also show you some Corrupted Dunks uh, in Stalker difficulty. difficulty. So you can uh, get some inspiration how to play this build. You can play it differently, uh, you can play the more aggressive or more stealthy way, however, however you like it. But I will show you the best I found in the internet. Okay, so for the arena, you keep the same spells, same, same abilities, same everything. You don't need to bring food because it's just arena, you don't necessarily have to try hard it. And here in the middle, if you are going middle, you need to hide from everyone and just find their healer. And focus him, just him. See the combo I just did? You are waiting for 10 seconds on your F, then press Q, R, and stay hidden. Curse stuff is going to be next, maybe, maybe not. Now, okay, bear paws are going to be next. Now, F, and he's dead for sure. Boom. See, it's easy. But uh, now you don't have cooldowns, you have to get back, reset if you are on 50% of your health. If you are on 90% of your health, like me, you can go just up to secure your point. And you should. Focus on getting those points 1v1. What I mean by this is this and this point you are focusing on. Because on the middle, uh, this weapon, this weapon, even this one, all of those weapons can just find you and kill you with AoE. They don't have to see you to kill you, if you understand me. Now we have lost two points because of me talking, but never mind, never mind. I'm going to wait here. I have now my cooldowns resetted. <coughs> so I will just be here and wait for some victim coming here. You can even cap the point when you are invisible, but you have to turn on your invisibility after the point is spawned. So just wait here. Press Q, press R, and you are now waiting if someone will show up. If not, disable your Q, reset your R cooldown with your D, and move to the right. But as you can see, we are capping it, 
so it's not necessarily for you to go here, so you can change your direction to the middle. Press Q. Hide. And press F. Boom, he's dead. See? Easy. Now you have nothing, you can just Q to scare him. He lost his <laughs> immune. And... W. That's all you can do. Disable your Q. So you are not getting more damage. And go back. Go to top. I'm not able to go here because I have no time. So I will just keep our... Our point right here. You don't have to reset your cooldown every time you have this ready. You can just wait 13 seconds if you are not in danger. If you see some red names like this, you should reset it. But now I don't have to. I will just go here to the middle, press Q, press R near the point, and focus on the healer, and press F. Boom, he's dead. See? Reset R. I have a lot of dots on me, but never mind. Q, R, stay hide. Okay, I can kill this one. Oh! And just finish this one, maybe? No, maybe not. Don't hunt kills because you are mm, very often to get killed without cooldowns. So you have to be careful. Just reset. I still don't have cooldown, but I just want to make sure we kept this point, so I will press Q, find some victim, press F, boom, that healer, boom, thousand damage, and I will be dead. I don't want to waste my div, because I'm going to die anyway, they would find me, so yeah, I fucked up, but I killed one of them, so it's maybe worth it, maybe not, we still didn't cap it, so... It's hard to tell. And I'm ready to fight with my cooldowns reset it. You get the fuck out of this area. Okay, reset your queue because there is no victim. And I'm not going to use my abilities because we kept it. So now I'm going here. Because it's the hardest point to get. And we have the biggest chance uh, to keep this point 1v1. Okay. 3, 2, 1, 0, Q, R, and waiting. Okay, I will... I will die, probably. Maybe I will... Yeah, yep, I'm dead. Ah! Almost! <laughs> almost got him, but I secured the point. And one death is worth it. This point is easier for, our, for us to get. This is how you can push for victory in arena with double daggers. Dagger pair, sorry. Okay, I cannot cap this, never mind. I see the healer here. He's pretty low tier. And he started running away. What are you waiting here for? Okay. Thank you for your donation. Now I have to fight for this boy. Two people. One of them is healer. He's going to die on me very easily. Watch this. 1800 health. He's going to be one-shotted. Boom, just reset. 
Wait for your cooldowns a little bit longer. Boom, boom. And he will be dead in a few seconds. Okay, he's smart, he's running away. And he's dead. Oh, he kills still. And we can go middle just for the victory. Easy as that. Now the most asked question is Corrupted Dunk. For Corrupted Dungeon, still the same abilities, I'm not changing anything. Uh, for the PvP. For the PvE, I will change it in a while. But first, the food. Beef stew. Always beef stew. It's up to you if you want to use flat beef stew or if you want to uh, enchant one or two. But yeah, I'm always using this one. It's pretty expensive. You can buy the flat beef stew without any uh, enchantments, which is like 5000, I guess. And I'm not using those potions normally, I'm using those. Just for your information, one of them is. Yeah. So if you will buy this and flat uh, beast you, it will cost only 9000, so which is not so much. So let's activate the stone, eat the beef stew, and change the abilities for dungeon clearing. I prefer this ability for AoE, this for cooldown reductions, and this because you have to heal yourself. This weapon isn't great for um, dungeon clearing. It's not great eggs, it's not uh, bolt casters. This is a grist. So you have to be patient, don't die on mobs because you will pay a lot of repairments then. See? Just like this. And I will see you in a moment when someone will invade me or when I will invade someone. Okay, so we are going on to do PvP. Now switch back to the usual spells and wait for invade. Now you have spawned, you have to move somewhere to safe place of course, that's logic. And wait for him to come. Or you can go and try, and try to find him but yeah you are going to take damage from mobs. So I'm waiting here for him. He has been spawned here and cleared the boss here. So he could be somewhere here and come here to me. Now we can see that he is taking some damage. It's spear. No, it's quarter stuff. Okay, okay. It's some newbie. He's not going to know what hit him. Come here, you little boy. And he's dead. See? It's easy. And all, all your loot is this. Now switch back to your dungeon clearing spells, like this. Wait for a return and finish the dungeon. Just for your information to know where to find the chests, uh, there are exactly 4 chests in every corrupted dungeon. One is here in the corner with boss, the second is here with another boss, it's always the solo unit right here. And the third chest is right here. It's guarded by mobs, 1, 2, 3 mobs. Right uh, in this corner. And the last chest is the boss chest of course, you can only get that when you clear the whole dungeon. And one more tip for you is, uh, if you are already invaded or if you kill someone who invaded you, you cannot get invaded again. Or if you fill this bar faster than you get invaded. Once it reaches the boss, you cannot get invaded.
All right, everyone. So here we can see how much loot uh, have I managed to get from those uh, six dunks. Uh, it was much more than I expected. We've got almost three million silvers from just the loot. Look at this, for example. Almost half a million, one weapon. I didn't expect this to drop. I really didn't. And we also got almost uh, half a million from silver bags, which is a lot. <laughs> We've got 109 books, which is pretty useless, but maybe you can find this useful if you want also a lot of combat fame. Uh, if you will consume those books, you will lost another 120k. But I'm not using them, I will sell them, so yeah, I will make 3 million from this. Maybe more, maybe less, based on the market price, prices. And half a million for just from this. Yeah, I think it's pretty decent amount of silver, just for 6 dunks, you have to win always. If you lose, of course, it will uh, cost you some profit. But I haven't died uh, even once, so yeah. I managed to get almost 300k of fame, so that seems giving you a big bonus, but I've started with like 60k. Yeah, I started with 60k uh, and... So I know what loot can you get even on lower infamy. It's not based only uh, about the infamy, it's based also about the gear the opponent is using if you will kill him of course. I for example killed a guy with uh, those bear puffs for tier 4.2 and they are almost 300k. So yeah, that's a lot just for weapon. This was a boss chest drop, so yeah. And you can even keep some of it, so you don't have to buy the better gear. For example, if you would be using uh, quarter staffs, you could drop this and you could just keep it, so you don't have to buy it in future. But it's a very personal question, so yeah, it couldn't be applied for everyone. I will, for example, keep the po poison. Po yeah, just the poisons, I'm not using those, so I will sell these. So my profit will be lesser of 478k, it's not the much. Uh, I hope you got the, my point uh, and you have learned something from it. So for example the dead givers are, uh, I mean the grammar is one of the strongest weapons in the game. Hopefully you liked the video, you liked the compilation, uh, because I enjoy it a lot. Uh, Especially the fact that I didn't die a single time. But one thing you have to worry about is when you are doing a red zone corrupted dungeon, so the stalker difficulty, you have to travel all the way back. And when I streamed on Twitch, uh, I won some dungeons corrupted. And when I have been traveling through this tunnel, I've got ganked. And I have lost uh, some somewhere around 3 million silvers only on this path so yeah be careful because if you are doing in the yellow zone you don't have to worry about getting ganked and killed but if you are doing the red zone it's pretty hard to manage to get back to the city and one another thing is that you can do the same corrupted dungeon but in the black zones and it have one advantage and that in the spawn here you have those invisibility bubbles, so you can find the dungeon pretty easily and when you get back, here's one more invisibility bubble and you can take it and just deliver it back to the portal completely safely. No worries, no gankers, nothing like that. Keep that in mind please, that you maybe should consider going to the black zone, but in the black zone everyone is your enemy. In the red zone is only the PvP players and gankers your enemies. So yeah, uh, it's your decision. I prefer the red zones because there is a lot less PvP players than in the black zone. But as I said, it's your decision. I hope you will find this guide very useful. If you do, please hit the like button, maybe even the subscribe button, it's up to you. And you can also suggest me some next guide I should use, I should make for you.